MPS together with its partners had about 6,000 people working here on site, delivering the facility as we have it today. For the last four years, we've been gearing up for this day to receive the first vessel into this harbor. Basically, this test vessel is coming to test navigation through the channel, test our ability to receive a ship, and also ultimately stay with us for seven days to run simulations, which is the most important thing and the ultimate objective for the whole exercise. Behind me, you can see the first ever container vessel to come to this terminal. It's parked here at a newly made berth. We're standing physically from what used to be Ghana's coastline. We're now 700 meters away from the coastline, into the water, into reclaimed land. These ship-to-shore gantry cranes are really the top in their class. They have 66 meters outreach, which can take us to the 23rd row on board any ship. And also, they are 89 meter tall. They have a good stretch between the legs, that's uh, the rail span of 30 meters, which creates a lot of lane under the cranes where they can actually compound it four, five, six in a row, and we still can operate trucks without having a confused operation. The objective of this test vessel is to involve the existing team working today in the existing facility, but also the new operators, for example. We have more than 60 new operators which need to practice on top of the training done in the past few months. We are taking all staff through this trading process. And so we have deployed on a rotational basis, both day and night, whereby we bring in the staff and we take them through to test the functionality of the, of the cranes, to test the yard cranes, the operational processes, and identify all gaps and see how best we can improve on these gaps or close these gaps. This is not only training for the operators of the cranes, but also for the management, training to the supervisory level, training to the people that work on board the ship within these new facilities, as well as the people that work on the platforms, in the cockpits, and in the back office. We have a facility which is ready to operate. We've handed over all the buildings. We have a new building for the MPS operation. We have a brand new workshop. We have a complete building for all the various authorities which are going to be here. They have their own facilities. We have a fully automated, biometric controlled access system in place. And as MPS grows, we build further until the end of 2020, where we expect to have everything finished in terms of construction. So in the yard, we have invested in 20 electric gantry cranes. Those are the most sophisticated gantry cranes there are be with an operator. They are capable of delivering, you know, with pinpoint accuracy using the DGPS. That's a, a differential global positioning system. We have live tracking, accurate tracking, no container missing, and we don't search for containers because the system knows exactly where we put the containers. We can always go back to that position and pick the right container in pinpoint Accuracy. Cost is uh, absolutely nothing when you come to think of training and learning. But uh, to give you a figure, this ship is being chartered at $20,000 per day. But this experiment will lead to the startup of this world class terminal at full speed. So it's money well spent. The next step to be done is to analyze all results of this test vessel and then to look at all gaps identified during this test vessel and see the action to be engaged to make sure that we can achieve the productivity because with those very brand and state-of-the-art equipment we need to achieve more than what we were achieving before. We are ready and motivated to deliver as per all expectations to be able to serve Madagana and serve the community, the shipping lines and all our stakeholders. Combined with the two waterfront and yard operation, I think we have given ourselves a good test with this vessel and more ready for the big day, which is the 28th of June. There will be another vessel coming very soon, I hope, and that one we will call it the go or no-go vessel, and most likely it will be a go. Thank you.